freshman class and then we have people that are trying to go to the games every year and there's like a huge spectrum in there. When we started, or I should say maybe like when I started doing CrossFit forever ago, you know, there would only be like 50 to 70 members in one gym. And so we're trying to make regionals, which at the point it was not easy, well, it was easier now to make regionals than it is to make semifinals. And we would have to take people on the teams and take them through the open, uh, you know, really push hard to get points and take people that maybe didn't really, at this moment, you would say didn't belong to be there. Most of the people in the room right now would have been on the regionals teams in like 2013, 2014, 2015. Even Isaac? Even Isaac, believe it or not. Especially Isaac. Even Isaac. And so, you know, the more I think about it, the more I realize, like, we have this, you know, the code of scale games for people that are, you know, doing scale competitions and trying to be the, you know, win and come to this and be really excited. And then we obviously have the teams that are most likely going to make semifinals and try to put, pick, make a push for the games. But then there's, like, so many of us in the middle right here that don't really get to do much during the Open. Like, we do the Open, and maybe we make individual – quarterfinals and we do that I guess but I just don't feel like you're getting the experience and the time under the lights and the teamwork and camaraderie stuff that I got to get in 13 14 15 16 and so I want to try to make that uh, available to to everybody anybody who wants it and so the goal this year is for anybody who's committed to doing uh, the open rx and wants to like push and try to make a team to go to quarterfinals, I'm going to put teams together. And there's a chance, you know, you need to understand this going in, you might be the best person on the team, there's a chance you might be the worst person on the team. But everyone is gonna be focused on the team doing as good as possible. And we're also not gonna be emotional about other teams being ahead of us in the open or whatever, it's just gonna be like a camaraderie, you know, Coda versus the world atmosphere. That's what I'm looking to create. And I think that a lot of you guys deserve that opportunity and, you know, maybe haven't had it in the past. Like, how hard is it to be, you know, one of the top girls at Coda when you have just these studs competing? You could go to the gym down the road and you'd be the top girl there walking in the door. Same thing with guys. You could be the top guy walking in the door over there. And here it's just so much tougher to kind of be that, you know, the, the gym's team. Well, last year when they let us put as many teams in the open as we wanted, you know, it used to be just one team per affiliate. Now they're letting us put as many as we want. So why don't we just fill it up and I'll make teams with all you guys, you know, and, and we'll push as hard as we can. Granted, there might be more guys on a team than girls. So there might be a lot of teams that have like three or four guys and only two girls. And so when quarterfinals comes around, me and the team captain will get together and we'll talk about like who's actually going to be on the floor the best chance that we can get to, you know, make the best score. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. Does anybody have questions about like what that's going to look like or how it would operate? 